Hi guys, in today's video, I just want to give an update on the 24th International AIDS Conference happening in Montreal, Canada and virtually. I have talked about it in one of the videos and I'm going to link it up here. You can check about the scholarship application process. So the AIDS 2022 International AIDS Conference is offering fully funded scholarships to applicants. And in that video, I share with you how to be able to get the fully funded um, scholarship. And the secret is do not apply for the conference before you apply for the scholarship. So get onto the aids2022.org website and then just scroll down a little bit. You're gonna get to this page, scholarship applications. And um, the update I want to give is previously the application deadline for scholarship for non-IAS members was 31st January, but it has been extended to February 4th, 2022. So that means you can actually still apply for your scholarship to attend this conference, yeah? So guys, go to aids2022.org. Do not apply for the conference before you apply for the scholarship. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay. So scroll down and click on apply now. Yeah, aids2022.org and then click on apply now. Once you click on apply now, it's going to take you to this landing page, aids2022.org take part slash scholarships and you can see here scholarship applications are open scholarship application close 4th of february the AIDS 2022 scholarship program provides financial assistance to eligible applicants around the world to attend AIDS 2022 either in person in montreal canada or virtually and the program supports individuals who contribute to the conference program, as well as applicants who can demonstrate that they will transfer the skills and knowledge acquired at the conference to the work they undertake in their own organization. So key dates, number one, the scholarships opened 1st December 2021. On 4th of February 2022, that is when the scholarship application platform closes for non-IAS members, 7th February 2022 extended scholarship application deadline for IAS members and then early April 2022 applicants will be notified about the status of their application who is eligible to apply for this international conference in Canada so the scholarship program is open to anyone working or volunteering in the field of HIV and is at least 16 years old on 27th July 2022 and priority will be given to a abstract presenters, workshop facilitators, and organizers of global village and youth program activities whose submission has been selected for the conference. Number two, applicants from lower income countries. Number three, applicants who belong to key populations and people living with HIV. Number four, young people and junior investigators below the age of 35. And number five, applicants who did not previously receive a scholarship for an international AIDS conference. So if you fall under any one of these five priority groups, then I highly, highly encourage you to apply for the scholarship. So instructions for the international conference in Canada application process. Number one, the application process is entirely free. Number two, you must submit your scholarship application on the scholarship section of the AIDS 2022 conference profile platform from 1st December 2021 until 4th February 2022, 23.59 Central European time and 7th February 2022 for IAS members. Applications via email are not accepted and must be in English only. And then number two, do not register for the conference before you submit your scholarship application. Guys, I have stressed this in the other video. I am stressing it again. If you are granted a scholarship, you will not be able to be reimbursed for any course you have incurred prior to receiving a scholarship. All applicants will receive an extension of the early registration fee. So don't worry in case you apply for the scholarship, you are not selected and you still want to attend the conference, you will still be eligible for the early registration fee. So guys, do not register for the conference 
before you submit your scholarship application. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay. And then the profile information in your AIDS 2022 conference profile must be complete before you start a scholarship application, including all fields relevant to scholarships. You will also be asked about the organization that you work or volunteer for in the field of HIV. Then you will be required to answer some brief questions about your experience in the field of HIV, motivation to attend the conference, and how your participation at the conference will benefit your community. You will also need to attach a letter of recommendation from a manager, colleague, or a peer. And then you can save your online application at any time and come back to finish it later. However, if your online application is incomplete or the recommendation letter is not submitted, by the 4th of February 2022, your application will not be considered. Once you have submitted your application, you will receive a confirmation email containing your scholarship application number. Please save this number and check your email regularly, as this will be the scholarship team's primary means of communication with you. So what does the scholarship include? Yeah? So the applicants can choose whether to attend the conference in person or virtually. You can request financial support for registration, travel, support, accommodation, daily living allowance, and or virtual access support, depending on the type of attendance applied for in person or virtually. The type of attendance does not have an impact on the likelihood of obtaining a scholarship. So in the in-person attendance, you can request the following support. Number one, registration for the conference. This includes access to all sessions at the conference venue as well as access to the virtual platform. That's why, guys, I insist do not register for the conference before you submit your scholarship application. Okay, number two, travel support. This is prepaid economic class ticket from the nearest international airport. Number three, accommodation in a single room in a budget hotel or student accommodation. And then you also get daily living allowance for the duration of the conference. So applicants applying for in-person attendance of the conference are strongly encouraged to ensure that they comply with the government of Canada's entry requirements as well as COVID-19 travel regulations when they apply for the scholarship. This includes vaccination mandates and other measures for traveling to Canada. So please check the immigration page for up-to-date information on this. So if you are so for those who are wondering why should you even bother applying for this scholarship, so remember, um, at least I know for the Canadian Embassy in Kenya, when you apply to attend this conference, you're going to apply for a business slash visit tourist visa. Once you get this visa, if all embassies, I'm assuming they work like the one in Kenya, they are going to give you the maximum of either how much is left on your passport. So let's say if you still have 10 years left, you're going to get a 10 year multiple entry tourist visa. Or if let's say you have like seven years left on your passport, you're going to get seven years multiple entry Canadian visa. So with this visa, that means you can come to Canada, attend the conference and go back home. And then at a later stage, you can decide to come back to visit Canada on vacation. And while you're on vacation, take one or two hours of your vacation days per day and use it to network, learn more about the country, uh, learn about the different cities and towns you want to work for, network with potential employers and the like. So that's the advantage of attending this conference. You get to apply for the tourist visa and also the current, there's a temporary policy that allows you to work in Canada on a visitor visa. Again, I'm going to link the video at the top. So once you get your visa to attend the conference, if this policy is still in place, then you can still visit Canada, get a work permit and work on your student visa. Well, guys, that's it for today on the update on the AIDS 2022 International AIDS Conference in Canada. As usual, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a sweet comment below and share it with all other people that are interested in visiting Canada. Thank you for staying up to the very end. I definitely look forward to meeting you on the next one. Bye, guys.